Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> I'm Lynn Browder, and I have a son, Owen, who is 11 and has autism. We paint together. He helps me paint the backgrounds of our paintings with a hand-over-hand -hand method. And then I paint the rest. <clears throat> so, I am... Painting, I think I called it last night a troll, which I have made many a troll. Um, but I guess this is more of a gnome. <laughs> I'll have to like read the real technical definition of which, why, which, when, where, how. Um, but I made, I'll show it to you in a few minutes. Um, the teaser, I'll show it to you soon. Um, I made it, my cat's making noise, um, I made it last night, and so tonight we're, um, I'm gonna paint a green version, the last one was a red version, and so we're just gonna paint, it's probably not gonna be the same looking, but it'll be the same looking. <laughs> How's that for technical, not technical. <laughs> um, ah, okay, see, that was not in the cards. That's not what I had planned, but not, it's not a big deal. Oh, that's fine. Um, because I'm kind of done with it, but I wasn't really done with it. <laughs> So, we're, there's more brushes. We're just going to have to, you know. Um, and again, this is just kind of the um, start of it. So, I'm just filling in the kind of the basics. And then I'll kind of go back in and um, fill in more of the color. I don't know what my cat is deciding to move around the room, but he's doing something. He's doing something. Sometimes, um, there's numerous things, depending on the, um, background color that you use, depending on the, the paint that you use, the brand, um, this all will make a huge difference. Um, uh, I don't know, it's, maybe that'll be easier to see. This is a kind of a forked, um, brush. And so that's why you're seeing a lot of the, the streaks. Um, I was going to grab a regular one and this is the one I grabbed. So, but it'll be okay. Cause like I said, this is just, we're just getting started. Now let's see if I can put that down without sticking it in the white. Now, um, what I'm doing is this is like the beard and that, uh, again, it might be hard on the screen to see, but that is white. Um, but I'm using two different colors of cream plus the white. Um, and I'm also going to use a gray and a darker gray that almost looks black. Um, let's see. Oh, that was not what I had planned. See, I'm just all full of, um, this is what I did last night. And so he, um, will be kind of like that. Oh, again. <laughs> Hopefully I don't do that too many more times. Um, you went for a, a little ride there. I hit the, I hit the holder. Um, so I'm going to put this down here. Um, we'll put some shoes on his feet or <laughs> really in his beard, I suppose. Um, the one last night kind of reminded me of, as I was building this, it was 
reminded me of the Christmas tree. Um, the way it looked, the, the design, the, just the angle, I guess. So, um, that made me, um, think that I wanted to do some kind of more of a Christmas tree style, um, uh, gnome, um, at some point. I don't know what, what's you know, I'm going to actually do, but that's kind of the goal is this, um, uh, little, I don't know, different style. Maybe I'll make it a little more tiered. Um, maybe some eyes, maybe not, maybe, I don't know. I, um, this is right after Thanksgiving, if anyone's watching this in like five years. <laughs> um, this, so I'm trying to kind of, you know, do um, different styles and everything, getting ready for Christmas. I make cards and different um, accessories out of the paintings um, and that's where I'm at. So I'm very sleepy today. Um, I probably slept later than I've slept in a while, but I also went to bed a lot later than I should. But I never want to go to sleep early because the quietness of the night. Not that it's really quiet where I live, but... Um, there's uh, train tracks and all kinds of things close. I grew up near train tracks, so I don't mind the train tracks, except for when they're working on, like, the train tracks. <laughs> the train tracks, and then it's loud. But that's okay. So, um, do a little bit more of this and then I'm gonna put his nose on there and then get a little bit more every time I do these like any of the kind of wispy things I do because I do them in my angel wings and I do them um roosters and different things like that um I um always do them a little bit different each each and every time it seems like I go through and decide this is the way I'm going to do it or that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, and like I said, I technically didn't really need this because it's fine if it's, you see the, the color underneath. It doesn't technically really matter, but um, I just keep going through all the different ways to do it. And then I'm going to put his nose on and then get, I want to get more of this bottom. I'm not good at letting things dry, like doing a section and waiting overnight and doing another section and waiting overnight. I'm not good at that. I, I'm just not. I want them done. And so once I start something, I tend to just rush through it and there we go. So, um, this is kind of, it, probably looks black on the screen, but this is a dark, um, a very dark gray. It's, I think it's called pavement. Um, so it's just a little bit of a, another hint in here of color and texture. And, uh, when you use only white. Like if I was doing this with just white, I wouldn't necessarily have to put the, um, grays in there. I, I wanted the gray just to kind of show the Santa gnome, um, you know, like aging it. Um, but even if you did just want the white, um, one of the things that you can do is use, like, um, what I have here is a cream, but there's very, um, varying versions of white and 
technically you can make your own kind of colors, you know, you can mix and mix and mix and mix, but I just buy all the bottles of all the colors because, you know, you know, um, but the more that you do like the layers, you will be able to see like how things kind of, um, stick out. Your colors will be able to kind of, um, move in there and, um, it, it provides like almost a movement of itself in the, the painting. Um, when you look at like how the, the colors are kind of moving in and out there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the nose and then kind of move up move up. I don't want to put that in the green again, um, like I did the other. And it's funny when I use, when I paint flowers, I use like one paintbrush. And, um, with this, um, I, um, I use multiple paintbrushes because, um, I want the colors to, um, except, you know, I mix them together, but I want the colors to kind of stand out on their own. So, um, it's funny. There's some things that <laughs> I can't talk and do at the same time. And I don't know why. Um, I, I have no clue. I, um, making his nose a little bit rounder, I think, which is, again, they're all a lot different. <laughs> I don't want to even say a little different. They're all a lot different. A little different, a lot different. Um, oh, that has lots of little bubbles in there. Let me get that out. There's one right there. Sometimes, a lot of times, if the paint is old or has sat or I don't shake it up enough or, 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 um, you get kind of those little chunky pieces in there. And so that, um, that's what's showing out there. So There's his nose, and now I'm going to go back to a little more of this, because, ooh, that's going to be, I saw that big blob coming. Um, I want more of this around his nose. And I can start adding in um, the white around the um, ch -ch, I can't think <laughs> the hat. I almost called it a helmet, so bear with me in my brain. Bear with me in my brain. It's sleep, I do believe. Um. <laughs> um. Okay, so. Oh, I think I just touched a little bit in, um. I need to get the big brush back out that doesn't have a ton of the green paint on it. <laughs> um, because I gotta make my edge here. Um, it should be okay, but I just <laughs> have to do a little more, um, a little more fill in with this little brush, but um, I'm gonna kind of 
just dot it around a little bit anyways. The, it's got a little bit of the green in it, which is okay. That's one of the things that I should let it dry more, but it's okay. And then we need a little pom-pom dude over here. And again, um, just adding a little tiny bit of the color, even if you kind of go back and add on top of it so it's not, that's still going to give you this kind of um, splotchy effect. That's why I wasn't too worried about the, the green because it, it'll show through, but it's almost more of like a reflection. Um, if you don't want any of the green to show through, then I highly recommend you wait and let it dry. Told you I'm impatient. <laughs> but it's okay. Oh, I got a dot on there, but it'll be okay. Um, I do that a lot. I get excited and things go flying now i haven't done his his little boots yet i should have started those because um not that it really technically matters but i should have them going i should have them going so i am um and I have like that little dot right there. I almost, well, I could technically do it. Um, so, um, let's see, I'm still not doing this yet. Um, I'm gonna fill a little bit more of this in and I should have got that other brush because again this is that fork brush but um i'm going to be adding stuff in here what when you are doing this um i use two or three or more but mostly two or three colors in the design of something like this green, there is actually two greens already in it. And then when I go to put more highlights in there, there will be a third green involved. So now I'm gonna do some little shoes. See, this is why I said they, I should have already started them because, um, they're going to have to dry a little as well. I need to really get the other brush. But once I start something, <laughs> except for the fact that I threw that one brush in the green, um, I continue to use the same thing. And I, I shouldn't. I should have just put it aside. But here we are. And again, we're going to add more color, so it'll be fine. It will be fine. And I just realized I want, I want a little more edge, like rough edge around here. Um. Okay. Let's see. Now, this is, there's several colors on there. Um, there's a green and that, that gray. And um, what I want to do is just kind of add um, 
flow in here and like um add so it doesn't just look like it's a solid there's movement to it is basically what we're attempting to to do um and that way it's kind of um you know like the the wrinkles when you're um standing and you're you're moving around you have wrinkles in your your clothing and your shirt and different things and that's the same kind of thing with this is it you're not just straight on with something you're got more movements and um so that's what this is as well actually the the um lines in there weren't too bad because that's kind of like the soles of the feet so I should, probably should have just let it <laughs> let it stay one of these is definitely more um, bigger or something rounder and again it really you know um And then, um, I kind of want this, like, this, the sole, or the heel, that's what I'm trying to say, heel of the foot. But I don't want the green to completely go away. Um, um, so. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. She did an update between my phone and her. We're having interesting moments now. <laughs> um, so, um, she did some kind of update and now, uh, volume and everything else is just very interesting. And my phone, oh my word, these new sounds are enough to, and, you know, I know so many people don't use sounds on their phone, but, um, I like, I don't like, like, keyboard sounds, like the click-click sounds, but I like to have app sounds, like when a message comes in or something like that, um, and so, there, it's just interesting. It's just interesting. Okay, so now put that down for a moment. I'm going to go like kind of. I didn't do this with the other one, but I'm just adding a little more. I almost feel like I want um, it to have. Um, An edge around the nose. We'll see if I like it better once I... Hmm. You know. Either way. But let's just add a little bit of shading. We're almost done. Almost. Okay, then I'm going to do a little more of this, I kind of want it I wanted it a little thicker, it felt, I don't know. Not quite as puffy or something. I just wanted it. You know, I think I want the nose not as vibrant. Like, um, I like the outline, but I feel like it's, it I feel like it's concave instead of convex. Like it just seems like it's pitting itself down instead of. 
pulling itself up and I'm going to lighten this just a little. I like the dark, but I want it to feel a little brighter. So we are almost there. Almost. Almost, almost. So Owen had a better day today than he did yesterday, but we're on the downward slope till he goes back to school on Monday. He will be so happy. His routine will return. So, um, and I will be happy for him because, oh, my pinky peaches got next to my green. <laughs> and so, but again, that's okay. Let me just clean it off. Um, so he'll be very happy that he gets to go back to school, back to his people. I think that's what I'm missing is actually I put his nose, his nose feels like it's over instead of under the hat a little bit, um, just in a little just because that edge is so rough. I think that will help. There we go. There we go. So, oh, I almost dropped that again. Um, now let's see if I can do this without hitting. So, I don't know if you can see both of them at the same time. But, there and there. So they look a little different, but there and there. Oh, I didn't sign them. Silly me. So I always put O for Owen. And then L and B. So there we go. And I think I'm just going to lighten this a little bit, too. This feels a little heavy to me. It'll dry differently like the other one, but I just feel like it's still a little heavy there. And I think I want to just add... Oops. Went the wrong side. I wanted um, a little more of the gray in there, but I added way, way, way too much of the white. Okay, see, now we're gonna have to. There we go. Power of paint. <laughs> it's back to where it pretty much was. So, anyways, there we go. All right. Thank you for watching and being a part of our day. Toodles.